it's a real reversal from a state that Biden won by 10 points last year. So this is a, this is a 12 point swing in one year, and it it a few different things made it happen. You all talked about CRT. There's a variety of educational issues uh, that Loudoun County was at the epicenter of. You all have reported on that, and that affected this race substantially. And not just in Loudoun County, but you look at the numbers in Southeast Virginia. Um, and in a lot of the suburban counties, and they drove enthusiasm among the base. And education isn't necessarily always the issue that does that. But in this race, that played a major role. Um, and then the other two were the dramatic difference on crime and the economy. Glenn's business experience made Virginians confident he can get them on the right economic track, where Terry McAuliffe now has a record something he didn't have when I ran against him for governor. He has a record of failure. And Glenn exploited that. Uh, all this in an environment of ideological insanity from Washington and incompetence. And uh, look, you can look back at 2009, when I won in the first year of the Obama administration, and, and the 1993 race, George Allen's big win in 93. Look what happened the next year. 1994, a contract with America, 2010, the Tea Party wave, and 2022, I think the Democrats know that they have big losses coming in the midterms. Let me talk about that and in, in, in what this looks like, because it, it appears to be from a critical lens that the Democrats are going to have to, gonna go, have to uh, go back to the drawing board on this one here. Right. Right. Because what what did we see when we saw McAuliffe's campaign? We saw President Biden, Vice President Harris. We saw President Obama. We saw Stacey Abrams. We saw a high list of celebrities come out and essentially try to make this a national campaign. And then his opponent, Yunkin, who won, stuck to legitimate uh, state concerns, specifically yeah. the economy and education. Yeah, and crime uh, was the third big one. And, um, you know, don't forget, last summer, Virginia's capital was occupied by a mob like happened in other parts of the country. And the governor, who had the power to do something about it, didn't do anything about it, nor did the mayor of Richmond. So... You know, that hung over this race as well in particular parts of the state. So uh, it was uh, with all those national players coming in. Uh, honestly, I think the Democrats violated the first rule of holes. When you're in one, stop digging. The national picture is owned by the Democrats, and they're reminding Virginia voters of that did not help their cause, in my view, at all, particularly when the current leader, Joe Biden, is so badly viewed. Even Terry McAuliffe said as much and yet brought him into Virginia to campaign, though not to central Virginia, just barely over the Potomac into very democratic Arlington. So uh, it was, uh, that was very telling, I believe. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.